Hello, this is John Roberts, and this is my oral critical reflection presentation for civic engagement. Uh, I chose um, working with Littleton, the city of Littleton, where I live, and its community to do some community organizing to bring awareness to projects that are going on within the city that may affect local residents, other problems or issues that um, may have gone unnoticed largely, but should be um, for the residents here. I, um, I've got to say the background on Littleton, well, the whole Denver area and Front Range in general uh, has had tremendous growth in the last 10 years and there's been many changes and Littleton has um, definitely been affected by these as well. So um, I'd much rather work on more of a local level government or projects or community organizing than I would a national or global effort. To me, it's just more rewarding. Um, I just really get to meet people and create these connections, you know, and then kind of you're able to see what, uh, you know, the results of your work. So um, a couple of events I was able to attend were the city council meeting. Um, at this meeting, I was able to talk in person with some of the city council members to really get their perspective on um, you know, what's important in the city right now, where the city's going, and any major changes. Um, <clears throat> it was also nice to be at that particular meeting because the city manager from Fort Collins was there, and he was also to kind of give perspective on the direction of their city uh, they've been doing a lot of, they've had a lot of growth as well and, and had a lot of changes. So similar situation, but just kind of a little ahead of where Littleton's at right now. The, um, I was also at what Littleton calls a meet, greet, and eat event. That's where they bring the community together along with some city council people, the mayor and other city employees to just basically have a good time and talk reach out, you know, get perspective from citizens and also, you know, provide information on, you know, um, what the city's up to right now. So that was really a uh, good. And then another event I attended was uh, actually a river cleanup down at the South Platte that the city um, managed, which uh, a lot of people love Littleton for its open spaces. And I'm one of them. That's the reason I moved here so that project volunteer project was definitely an interest of mine and uh, interestingly enough I ran into some of the same people as that as I did the meet eat and greet so I think there's a pattern there people who are interested in civic engagement and civic participation uh, it's kind of like a lifestyle you you see the same people and they're um, just very engaged so, um, did I meet my goals that I set out to? I did not, not entirely. Um, I did ended up having to leave the quarter midway last year. And then um, right when I was getting back started to it last month, we had COVID-19 come about, which severely restricted, you know, my ability to get out and physically um, get into some volunteer situations and some other meetings and uh, even the meetings with my neighbors. You know, I've, I've conducted a house meeting, some one-to-ones discussing um, local issues. Um, I did actually get a couple of my neighbors to come down to the meet, eat, and greet. And one of them also was available for the river cleanup. So, I mean, <clears throat> that was kind of the direction I was going is to bridge that gap and get um, participation from the community and really get, you know, my local community members that I didn't know as well before this, you know, find our common, um, common goals, common values to, um, you know, to get us together, to get us to start working on, on some projects. Um, let's see. I would say some... Um, pluses that came out of this whole thing, I reinforced some relationships uh, within the neighborhood and I built some new ones. Kathleen Osher, the city 
for Littleton Special Projects Manager is who I first contacted on a one-on-one -on -one to really get going on this. She's been great. She continues to send me email for future public service events, um, you know, anything going on with city council. So it's really nice to have that communication. Um, you know, I think some things I learned about that I could be doing better in this whole community organizing process would be just better follow up, um, you know, and I think that kind of trails into uh, critical ref reflection. You know, looking back after a day, what did you learn? Who did you meet? Just doing a better job of, um, you know, taking notes of that so that I'm better prepared the next time around. Um, I feel like I'm a good communicator. Like I'm, I'm approachable, I can talk to people at these meetings. So I think as far as, you know, community organizing, um, I think that's a good quality to have and it seemed to work really well for me. The, um, you know, and then issues, issue selection, you know, that was something that we went over in our, um, our uh, house meeting here in the neighborhood. Uh, you know, what's important to people, you know, that's, it's the start of um, community organizing is you know getting them together and then finding about you know what what really what 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 interests them you know where they would like to see see the city go and and we did have a lot of common common interests of issues and problems that we um, identified so I think this will be a, a future you know ongoing project and I'm glad. I feel glad to kind of empower some of my neighbors because, you know, they, they suggested that it's important to them, but they just, you know, they didn't, they needed something to jumpstart them to start thinking about it. So now, you know, even with the COVID-19 thing, having to social distance, I've been talking to neighbors on the street and in driveways and, um, and it just feels good to, you know, to, to bring this about and see their interest and, in, uh, the power that they've gained from that. I feel, um, you know, early on in the quarter, we talked about Robert Putnam's um, <clears throat> uh, bowling alone. And honestly, I think with this pandemic we've had going on, it's kind of reversed that a little bit, at least in this neighborhood. You know, you see the kids out playing, you see, you know, parents talking and communicating better. So um, I guess, you know, if there is a silver lining, that would be it, kind of bringing people together. So, um, in conclusion, I feel like um, I have a better handle on community organizing. I have a better idea of where I like to be as far as a part of my community. Um, I feel like I raised our social capital a bit by the efforts I did and the, con the connections that I made within the community. Um, I feel like you got to be informed. If you don't know what's going on, you can't help. And... Um, yeah, so I feel like, you know, as Americans, we're lucky to have this option to be involved with the government. Little, Littleton is great. I mean, they're open arms to the community. They want to hear what you have to say, the meet, eat, and greet. That's what it's all about. Hey, come on down. Tell us tell us what you're thinking. Tell us how we're doing. Let's, let's partner up and make this a better place to live. So, um, yeah. So I think it was a great quarter overall. Uh, it was tough, like I said, having to stop halfway through and then get back right in the middle of COVID, but I think overall it um, worked out okay. Well, thank you and um, take care.